Greetings, lemons of the internet. My name is your mum and welcome back to another episode of Unlucky Dip. This is the show where I go onto a website. In this case, it is hotrandomkeys.com. I buy a random Steam key, I redeem it, and I hope that it is a good game. And usually, it isn't. But last episode, we did get lucky. Um, I can't remember what the game is called, but it was kind of like a spelling RPG game. It was like Grim something. I can't remember what it was called, but it was good. I recommend it. So, on to another hot random key. Will our luck continue? I don't know. Probably not. So this is episode 7. So there's been 6 episodes and we've got 2 good games so far. Our failure rate is 66.6% and our success rate is 33%. Can we increase that? So far I'm really enjoying this service. Oh, this is the one we got last episode. Letter Quest Grim's Journey. Good game. But I'm very happy that we found this website, Hot Random Keys. It's been way, way better than G2A. We can actually see the stuff that we could possibly get. And scrolling through these pages, I don't recognize like any of it. So it looks like there's a lot of potential for interesting stuff to play. Except for you. We don't want to play you ever. And it looks like our game is here. Oh no. Oh no. Alien Shooter 2 Conscription. Oh, guys. I don't mean to judge a book by its cover. But this looks disgusting. Alright. Here we go. Alien Shooter 2. Like, I don't know who made you Alien Shooter 2, but couldn't you just thought of a name? Like, that's not a name for a game. That's just saying what is in the game. I mean, I know I'm going to be shooting aliens, but couldn't you have called it something? Oh my god, very positive. Are you joking? Really? It's from... 2012? What? This? This is 2012? Are you fucking joking? Alien 2 Conscription is the continuation of Cult Alien Shooter 2, which is a unique blend of two genres, action and RPG. Alright, alright, I'm gonna stop being negative. It could be pretty fun. 48 positive and 10 negative. Not as good as last time, but it's still pretty good. I recommend this game if you're into shooting things. Ooh. Oh, I've shot things before and I've enjoyed it. You just go from mission to mission, killing hordes of aliens and some soldiers in this gritty top-down graphic 2D game. I am in. I am so in. This sounds amazing. I've completely changed my tune. I was like, this sounds terrible. It looks crappy. But now I'm 100% in. Hurry up and download. So there's the first game. Then the first game revisited. Then the second game reloaded. Then the second game conscription. What a weird word. What does conscription even mean? Alright, it's finished downloading. Let's jump into what I believe is going to be a fantastic time. Okay, I press play. And the screen just goes black and then nothing happens. No. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. You've been so good so far. Okay, let's see if we can actually find the proper launch file. Here it is. No difference. It doesn't work. All right, what I'm going to do while it's re-downloading is buy another one. Uh, if I can't get Alien Shooter 2 to work, uh, we'll just play the second game that we get. If not, and Alien Shooter 2 does start working, we will save this for next episode. All right, so I have the second game. I'm not going to show you what the second game is, just in case Alien Shooter 2 Conscription works. But I don't think it is going to work. So we're probably going to have to play the second game. Oh, hot random keys. Ah, <gasps> you are going so well. All right. It's worked. Play. Haha. <laughs> Didn't work again. What a surprise. All right. So the second game that we bought in this episode is... Rats. Time is running out. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Uh, so Alien Shooter, you suck. Your name sucks and I hate you. Goodbye forever. Positive reviews. Only 18 reviews. It came out. Wow. It came out like a few months ago. Press for time. Same for this rat. But he can manipulate it. Join Red Eyes and Rat on the heist of his life. Sneak into the bank. Steal the diamond. Evade the guards. And then get out. Ooh. This is a proper stealth game. 
And by that, I mean one where if you are seen, it usually means you have screwed up your chances of finishing the level. There is very little chance for recovery. I had a blast playing through it. Pretty good game for the price. The concept is original. I had a lot of fun. Only been playing for a little while, but I love this game. It's challenging, addictive, and original. Okay, so positive things are being said about Rats. Time is running out. It's a pretty new game. It came out in August. Rats, don't, you fuck off. You just, you, you fucking work. You work. You just work. <laughs> No! What about like speedrunners? Let's just try speedrunners as like a test. Does speedrunners work? What the fuck? Speedrunners works. All right, guys, I'm going to take a break. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to be back. I'm going to try and fix these games. We've come too far in this series to have episodes where we don't play games anymore. That's a thing of the past. That's a G2A thing. We don't do that anymore. All right, it is the next day, and I had absolutely no luck getting those last two keys to work. Couldn't get Alien 2 Shooter to work, and I couldn't get Rat's Time Running Out to work either. I did try. I looked around the Steam forums, and there were some people who had had similar issues to me, but none of the solutions worked. I failed. So we're on to game three of this episode. I was literally just saying in this episode that hot random keys had been good to us. We cursed it. We absolutely cursed it. Hot Random Keys has now turned into G2... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hot Random Keys. You're not that bad. You're not that bad. It's not your fault. You gave me games that looked interesting. They just haven't worked. This series is always really strange because throughout my history of buying Steam games, I can't remember a time where they just haven't worked. But like 50% of the games I've got during this series haven't worked. I don't know why. Maybe because our luck has been so bad... This game is going to be the greatest game available on the service. Like, Karma's got a balance someday. And maybe today is the day. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Space Trader, Merchant Marine. Okay, why not? All right, third attempt. Second day of recording. Please, I don't even care if you're good anymore. Just work. Uh, here we go. It's worth four pounds. Not very expensive. Oh, bloody hell. Mixed reviews. Came out in 2008. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, this guy played 36 hours of it. That's a lot. I love this game. FPS plays fun and functional and rewarding. The drug war style is my favorite kind of fast paced strategic trading. And to top it off, it all takes place in space with a kick ass atmospheric soundtrack. Hmm, okay. This guy said it's bland, forgettable, boring, and tedious. This game blows. The idea is great, but the execution is just plain awful. With an E and two L's. You know this guy's serious. Alright, it's installed. Let's just go. We have to see if it works first. Play. It's working. Bloody hell is it tiny though. Did I full screen it? I did. Wait, why are you going over here? It's gone on the wrong screen. Close it down. I full screened it. And then I couldn't do anything with it. Okay. So we're just going to play it in this tiny little box. Where is it? No, no, it's gone full screen. Look how tiny it is. Look how tiny it is on the screen. All right, for you guys, I've managed to zoom in on it, but for me, it is still just absolutely tiny. Okay, no tutorial. We don't have time for that. This episode is probably like 20 minutes long already. Uh, with your newly obtained trading license, find a way to secure a trading ship and begin your career as a trader. Oh, let me just... <laughs> I can't really see what's going on. Now that you have a trading license, you must find a way to get... A ship that will let you travel through the solar system before you can begin your travels, your, your career as a trader. Greeter bot! Greetings, trader! My former Turgic senses detect that you have recently obtained your official trading license. What? No ship! This is bad news. Without a ship, you'll be lucky if anyone gives you the time of day. Well, that's just rude. Uh, how do I get ship? Uh, typically, I would suggest purchasing one, but at the price they are running for these days, well, let's just say you might try asking around. Maybe someone will take pity and loan you the money. That's not gonna happen. Someone like some sort of space station. Five dollars cash, nothing in the bank. What's this? Hydraulic fluid. Why would someone leave that there? I don't really know much about ships, but you could try getting in with the Crimson Corporation. I hear they're willing to help new traders. I think Peter Mikhail on the second level has a few contacts. All right. Cool seat, buddy. He's an agent. Oh, give me this. Give me this. Were you guarding that fluid? Because you're a terrible guard. Uh, not you. It was like Peter? Oh my god. This is the guy. Cool legs, man. He looks like Seth Rogen. <laughs> it's these old style of mechanical legs I have. They need to be topped up constantly with fresh hydraulic fluid. Okay, he needs five boxes. I have two, I think. So we're just looking around. Aha. Okay, so that's three. Aha. Four. 
I'm just missing one, I think. Man, I love me some fetch quests. All right, five hydraulic fluid. Where's the man? All right, Peter. I've got it right here. Thanks a lot, trader. Soon I'll be able to move without sounding like I'm stepping on cats. Heck, soon I'll be able to move. Give me a ship. A guy by the name of Dex Renner, he hangs around here and works for the Crimson... <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Seth Rogen? Corporation, I'm not sure what their deal is, but I hear they help traders out. Uh, Rex Renor, uh, tell him I sent you, he owes me something. Thanks, man. Okay, where's Rex? You're not Rex. Oh, are you Rex? Dex. Close enough. Uh, okay. This guy's vouching for me. This could be a lucky day. My boss at the Crimson Corporation is always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. Sally Barris is her name. She's headquartered at the company's warehouse. Want me to arrange a meeting? Let's go. Okay. Whoa. All right, trader, we're here. This is our central warehouse of the Crimson Corporation. You should look for Sally Barris. She's expecting you. When you want to head back to the trading area, let me know. I can actually see this being quite fun back in the day. It's very old school. I mean, this game is eight years old now. But it's a very classic RPG. You have to kind of go around, find people, pick up stuff. Okay, this is Sally Barris. Uh, my associate tells me you're in need of a ship. I think I can help you out. Before I can engage in any business, I need to test you. What do you want? One of my security officers, Braxton, has shown himself to be an untrustworthy to the corporation. He hangs out in our training site in an abandoned train station. Take him out! Ooh, this sounds fun. Uh, let's go! I'm gonna murder someone. Oh, I got a gun! Whoa, okay. Where am I going? Um, shoot him? He's a goon! Fucking goon! Oh god, they're actually quite strong. Wow! Okay, that was a strong goon. Hup! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was pretty damn sneaky. 360 spinning stuff! Oh god, gotta reload. Be nice to me. Be nice, thank you. Braxton has arrived! Oh no! Whoa, no, no, Braxton! This is kind of fun! I'm not very good at it. I died. And Braxton is escaping. Open up, Braxton. Is that Braxton? Don't think so. I got a machine pistol. Cool. Where the fuck is this guy? Here he is. Whoa. I got him. I got a stash. Did I do it? I did it. I captured him. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Finally, Braxton's out my hair. I knew I could count on you. Your luck is about to change. Let's hear your proposal. Uh, even your most basic trading ship can be very, very expensive. I have a ship I can offer you, but the stipulation is you will owe me $1.5 million. I think that's fair. Um, seems a bit shit. Oops, I forgot to mention something, trader, so you don't do something silly, like skip out on the bill. Your long-distance travel function will be disabled. You can only travel between the Earth and the Moon. All right. I don't mind being $1.5 million in debt. Okay. You have a new ship. Okay, yes. I'm in a bit of debt, I'm gonna be honest, but I don't mind that. A wealthy benefactor named Sally Barris has given you a ship. Trade between Earth and the Moon to pay back $1.5 million. No pressure. What the hell? Who are you? Hey there, boss. I'm your ship's mechanic. I was included in the deal. Okay. Oh, I don't want to sell anything. How do I back out of this? What have you broken today? What have you broken today? So I just trade between these people? Oh my god, there's like stocks and shit. Okay, everyone sells different things. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I'm gonna buy stuff that has gone down. Uh, and hope that I get lucky and there's like a resurge. I'm gonna buy 10 packs of cotton. Alright. So I think I'm getting a grip on this game, guys. You basically do bounty hunting, you earn money, then you buy it and you sell stocks and trades between people. Uh, yeah, let's buy a cargo hold. I don't know why, but I'm buying it. Okay, let's buy four ivory tusks. Let's buy some banabis. No idea what a banabis is, but let's buy three of those. Okay, now how do we make profits? Surely we've got to go to Mars or a different place. Oh. Oh, I'm just finding stuff. All oh, right, and I guess I can just sell this. I am strangely enjoying this. It's very simple. But there's something about it which I kind of like. Looks like I'm, I can make some profits. Sell this stuff to this guy. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I made money, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go, up here. Explore. Uh, travel. Aha! Go to the moon. Yes, let's go to the moon. Not great. What do you mean, not great? Here we go. Look at these profits we're making. We just buy stuff from Earth, come back to Mars... I get it. Okay, I think I have a grip on this game. You have to go between Earth and the Moon and kind of compare the prices of the market and see what you can buy from one planet and sell to another planet for a profit. You can do bounties to earn money 
And it looks like you can do little side quests as well for these people, which I think are mainly going to be fetch quests. No, this is kill someone. Okay, I think I understand how the game works, but I'm going to stop here because I think I've seen pretty much all the game has to offer. I guess it just kind of ramps up and you get more money, you go to different planets, but it was okay. It was okay. This episode obviously didn't go well at all. We didn't get to try Alien Shooter, which had really positive reviews. We didn't get to try Rats Time Ran Out or whatever, which also had positive reviews. And when we finally got a game, we were kind of left with this okay trading shoot people game. It wasn't terrible, but it just wasn't very interesting to be honest with you. And I think the other two games would have been more interesting. But there's a reason this show is called Unlucky Dip. I just don't have any luck. I don't have any luck at all. But that is all for now. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Roton. Yeah. Close enough. Ah. Wait, what's crack? Crack. It won't do any damage to you. Oh. Uh, refresh the letters. Do that.